you've actually got a very nice starting item here, and that is some good practices for people who want to teach themselves to code. Absolutely. So we we talked about principles before on how to become, you know, going from a coder to a programmer and a daunting task of learning to be so. And we, I think we talked about it in episode 66 where we wanted to you could kind of go over some items of how you become from a coder to a programmer and, you know, how to transition yourself. But we wanted to go over just kind of very similar steps and specific items and go over, you know, inside those details, like very high level. Like, for instance, um, you know, believe in yourself, like that would be one of them. And there's a great article on Medium um, that Medium is a great uh, site to go to for like web development and all these different type of development techniques. And they had a, an article called How I Taught My Mom to Code. And I think that was very interesting because it, it takes a lot of the areas that I've been reading about, about how, how, you, how people learn versus, you know, how people learn to program, that sort of thing, and kind of blending them together. And I had some really good items that I, we wanted to go over. Right. You know, one of the things about that believe in yourself, I, I see that in a lot of code self-help sites. And it sounds very new agey. It sounds like, <laughs> you're okay, you can do it. But I, I don't think that's the, the real message. The real message in believe in yourself is believe that you can figure out how to do what you want to do. Uh, that's right. and, and that's actually a, an absolutely vital step in learning how to, to teach yourself to code because you will always come to a spot where you have no idea where to start. You're like, I don't know how this works. I don't know what code to use. I don't even know what calls to make here. But if you do that first step, you, you think to yourself, okay, I have no idea how to do it now, but if I sit down, I will eventually figure it out. And that is so important because it's easy just to quit in the middle of the process. But uh, let, let's do, let's do, let's go ahead and go to the first one. What's the first tip? So obviously the first one we just talked about is believe in yourself. And like you said, it's, it's sometimes a daunting task because you, you know, you've used to a computer just being kind of a consumption of place, a place where you go and you read and you maybe play games on it, but you never really thought about actually programming it and getting it, you know, and actually making it learn and do things that you wanted to do. And sometimes, you know, the best thing to do when it comes to believing in yourself is to really is to write down what you don't know. So some, you, maybe you don't know exactly how a program gets from text to it get to actually how the computer doing it. Maybe you don't know even what code is. So, I mean, you really just need to understand where you're starting at. And so that's where it comes down to writing that thing down and knowing where you need to jump in there. Oh, yeah, exactly. And I, you know, the longer you do it, the more you do it. And if you do it as a daily exercise, it's like any other piece of muscle memory. This is saying, okay, well, when I sit down, there's some things that automatically go onto my screen. There are some thoughts that automatically come into my head, and I automatically put myself into the framework of figuring out how to take a real-world question and put it into code. All right, what's next? So, like you just said, I guess the real, the first one what we should have talked about is write code every day. And so the kind, the, the key here is, you know. Code is a language, right? Uh, you're teaching a computer how to do something. And in order for you to learn that, just like you said, muscle memory wise, is you have to practice. And the thing is, you're not going to practice without making mistakes. And that's kind of a key is, you know, becoming a programmer is just kind of surfacing the mistakes, you know, before when you're writing the code and or after when you're compiling the code. And so, you know, really just 10 minutes a day. Well, you know, if you just writing it over and over again, making the mistakes and kind of getting there will really help you out and learn it. Exactly.